pick out good targets, and typically the other team will have a number of bombers trying to hit all these multiple, multiple ground targets. So let's take a look at their lineup. P-38, G Lightning, oh that would be a nice one to kill. You can't outrun us, I don't think. A B-25 Mitchell, perfect. Bowfighter, always great to take out. The TBF Avenger, a Wellington. Okay, so we have some, some juicy, so to speak, juicy targets. This is that Ukrainian front camo, and I added the stripe just on the top, on the wingtips. I really like it. It's not over the top or anything, it's just a little bit. All right, let me focus here, let's see. No, that JU-88 seems like a good target. I don't wanna get caught up with this boat fighter. I'm gonna get up higher. There's the Wellington, that's a great target too. Make sure this boat fighter's not coming from here. Let's swing down on him. Alright, let's take a pass at this chain. I want to get a good angle of attack. I don't want him to turn underneath me. And he probably will be cutting out. If he turns to the outside, that would be the best. I mean, he's trying to hit these targets there. Yeah, he did. Alright. straight up when you're climbing but you really gain altitude much more quickly and if you can get your speed back up you know, don't do it if you are if speed's critical but if you have time and you're away from the battle it's a good way to gain altitude pretty quickly. Got it. all right so that was a that was a nice peach of a setup for me reload while I'm climbing I didn't mean to steal the kill but that guy That, uh, oh, okay, so thanks. So, affirmative. I agree. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I don't agree with that. I'm just saying. No problem. <clears throat> Alright, our bomber targets. There's that P38G. Our bomber targets have been knocked out. Oh, there's another one. HE111. That's a nice target. And the TBF. Where is he coming? He's cut across the battlefield. B-25 is a good target, but we have 
all kinds of guys swarming him. And that's another thing is pick your targets wisely. You don't want to engage in a one-on-one -on -one with a UB of 109. Not that you can't win it. I mean, the, the Yak-9 T can go up against pretty much any plane. But be aware of your tactical situation. Don't get in a turn fight with a biplane. Don't get into a turn fight with... Even though your turn time is, is very good, you don't want to go one-on-one -on -one with Spitfires, BF-109s, those types of, of dogfighting planes. Well, BF-109 dogfight in terms of... Uh, boom and zoomer that can, if you miss him on that first pass, he will outclimb you. If he's smart, he'll shoot straight up or high up like a rocket, turn around and come back down on you while you're struggling to maneuver or AA here. So where's that coming from? Oh, way back there. Let's see. Whoa, way back there. Almost, almost four kilometers away. Stuff shoot that one? Okay. Interesting. That's some, that's some uh, dedicated, that's some incredible AI artillery, huh? Alright. The Spitfire. He's away from the pack. Let's see if our guys don't kill him off. I'm trying to take a pass here. He's trying to get some dog fighting with our Wildcat. down into that one two three four there's so and there's another yak 19 so our poor our poor guy he's a goner okay now it's a transition from bombers even though there's we still have 11 ground targets boy they have our, our we had we have not been bombing they have so they pretty much either exhausted their bombers or their bombers have switched over to fighters That Chica's, there's a Yak-9 and a Spitfire engaged. So I think our guys are pretty well covered there. 
Huh. And and our top guy, he's flying a Yak-19. Okay, so everyone else except that's our Spitfire has already lost an aircraft. So you know we're we're doing relatively well. That's the thing is, you might miss out on a few kills, but you know if you get greedy, you'll get shot down. So if your goal is to get the most kills without getting shot down, then you really have to play a little bit smart and avoid certain confrontations. You know, this, I can make a pass on this guy because we got tons of people on him, but it's not a good angle. So, oh, he's already down. Good. Pretty good team. Let's, let's see if we can get this guy. He's still alive. He's turning like crazy. Now. There's a Spitfire. All right, let's see what we can do here. Loop up. Immelman, turn. So I, I have a half loop, and then I roll over at the top. I'd rather be a little bit higher. He's turning. He's, he's chasing. Exploded. That was, I think, just we saw it because it, we were right so close behind it. So in that case, I think that Spitfire pretty much the same thing happened, um, except that since the plane was a, our plane was a little bit further back, it's a little bit harder to, to actually see. All right, if he's turning away from me, so we got a pass on this dude, even though ten people are chasing him. Okay, sorry about that. So, I had a phone call. I was, had to grab the phone real quick, but um, you saw I basically flew off into the the sunset there, into the clouds. But there you go. Game ended. Wow, our team was powerful. Look at that. So, six kills. There was another person with seven, but that was with three aircraft. And we were survivor, so that's good. Whoa, eight aircraft. That's a lot to use um so solid solid game good tactics and turned out pretty well you can see one assist which is good and that what that means is almost all of our solid hits were were kill shots as opposed to having a ton of assists and eight hits <laughs> so not a lot of hits but you only need one, pretty much one hit of that 37 millimeter, so. And seven criticals. 
18,000 lions with premium. 17,000 XP, so actually more lions than XP. But good game. Uh, I enjoyed that one. That was a lot of fun for me, at least. Hopefully uh, it was a good gameplay to watch. And you can see the tactic for the Yak 9T. It is... You can turn fight in it. It's fine. However, it, it's... You know, to use... As an energy fighter, to use it well, you want to be up high and boom and zoom down onto your targets. Hit them from angles they are not suspecting or they might not even know you're coming. Fire off your 37mm and zoom up away from them. If you missed, swing back around once you're clear and you're safe. Go for another pass and you will be surprised. You'll, you'll be able to take out more targets, not put yourself at risk, and utilize the plane to its full potential. So thanks for watching. This is Vamp. I will see you next time. If I want to stay up high if possible, so let's see if we can get a shot on this F4F. He's slowing down, so here we go. There we go. That 37mm just is devastating. If you can get a guy who is an enemy who is stalled or just going slow and isn't I'll be okay if I make a pass. So this is our boom and zoom tactic, in other words. We're making a pass, and then we're going to shoot right back up in the air. But he's coming up at a steep angle. So we're going to put his angle up. And my cannon ran out. I got a couple of hits on him. I don't think I could blind it. But I'm zooming away. Let me reload my machine guns as my cannons are reloading. I'll just remember that. And I see him down below with a Doe Dios 217, so I could, I think he's straying, so let's swing around for him. I check where he is, and now I'm diving. Okay, so that lag 3 on my team killed the HE-111H. Oh no, actually a light tank shot it down, I see in the chat. Scroll. That's unbelievable. I don't know if I, have you guys ever seen a light tank take out a armor um, switching targets to this high up? Way fast. There we go. Yeah, I was able to pull out in time. Flaps to raise. I should have probably switched my flaps to combat as I was diving down, and the reason for that is to. When you switch your flaps to combat, see, look here. Okay, you can see, let me zoom in, zoom out, watch it drop down, oh yeah, there, so you can see right there, that little flap drops down, and when I click it again, it goes up, so it doesn't look like much, and on other planes it's more noticeable, zoom back out, but what that's doing is, when you have your flaps raised, it's smooth to the wing. Hold on, I think this... Okay, this guy's going up. I think... I thought, I thought he wanted a head-on pass, but we'll see. Here we go. This is going to go quick, you guys. Yep, he wants a head-on. Let's zoom in. Here we go. 37 versus each other. Oh, he got me. Dang it. Wow. I was wondering why it was taking so long. I guess when you have one plane selected and then you switch to another, it, it clicks off of loading. I guess he's just asking you, hey, are you sure? There's the TV up, so you can dive on that. Find a way, he's gonna go under this outcropping. No, he's turning far, what's he doing? Oh, he's down. Alright, that's... Oh, Destroyer got him. Thanks, Destroyer. He's doing our kills. Well, friendly Destroyer, so I guess we have to say, way to support us.
Wow. I have to watch that back. I was I wasn't even paying attention. I mean I was looking at the Piper to aim, but I didn't really see that explosion or disintegration. I have to go back and watch the replay as well. That was pretty incredible. It doesn't happen too. Willy, willy, willy. 